we have a six-year-old Goodman with an aluminum evaporator and it has a leak. This is the uh, first aluminum evaporator leak I've seen and I wanted to show why uh, it's leaking. It has to do with the water line which is about a half inch up and then the aluminum tube being underwater. Now this one wasn't leaking on this side but you can see some pretty serious corrosion going on there. Now the leaking tube is right on the bottom in the back there. It's almost disintegrated. You can see it. You can see it right there, bubbling. Goodman was one of the first aluminum evaporators. And uh, so they had the aluminum below the water line. I went and looked at a bunch of other uh, units. Carrier mounts their coils above the water line. Train, you can see right there, they're above the water line. All style. Notice they just don't populate the tubes so that it stays above the water line. Ream above the water line. Notice the expansion valve is below the water line. That's going to corrode out. So if you ever saw that, you'd want to grab that and just lift it up above. So that water's corrosive. So the Goodman didn't. The replacement coil, they didn't update it, so I'm going to show how to manually raise it above the water line by adding some sheet metal below the uh, coil. Now since I'm raising the coil up an inch, I need to close it in three quarters of an inch so that it's not too wide at the bottom. And that's why I'm going to cut this back. With my nifty cutters here. You want to be careful, don't have your steel touch your aluminum anywhere. Now since I'm raising the coil one inch up, I'm going to make a channel which is two and a quarter wide, which is the coil, and then two one inch lips. I'll cut that out and fold it. So there you go. The aluminum coil is going to stay high and dry. Now you can get some blow by. Remember the lower pressure is on the outside of the coil here. So it's going to want to kick water splashing out. You know, like maybe want to splash that way. So all you got to do for your blow-by is just put some little walls. Let's just throw some pieces of sheet metal in there. Don't have it rub on your aluminum pipes. It's fine to touch your aluminum fins because they have a lot more distance for corrosion. I noticed one other thing. Just for good measure, we got aluminum really close to the galvanized metal. On that bottom row, I just put a few layers of line set tape on the channel. And uh, so we're going to have no aluminum touching galvanized anywhere where it's important. So there you have it. Took about an hour, but I was also making a video. And I had to notch these, get them to fit. These will catch a blow by. Drop them right back into the pan. Don't have to worry, you know, if there's any splashing. Here's the coil mounted in the unit. So you can see, not going to corrode anymore. Yeah, I wanted to show Goodman redesign their condensate pan. Now, this is on their newer air handler unit. And notice the pan is totally, has the aluminum totally out of the water 
on both sides. High and dry. That's the way to do it. Even if you mount horizontal, aluminum's not gonna be in standing water. So they figured that out pretty fast. Yeah, you wanna keep that aluminum out of the water. I do like these coils, nice and shiny. I hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.